In Norse mythology, Loki is a mischievous god known for his shape-shifting abilities. He's not just any god, he's also responsible for birthing some pretty unique creatures. These creatures, which feature prominently in Viking religion, are a fascinating aspect of the mythology. Loki's antics and his unusual offspring add depth and intrigue to the stories of the ancient Norse gods. Hel, <laughs> daughter of Loki and Angerbotha, ruled over a realm that shared her name. In Norse mythology, she was considered a goddess of death, and when someone died from illness or old age, it was said they had gone to hell. Unlike those who died in battle and were honored in Odin's Valhalla, those who ended up in Hel's realm were believed to suffer eternal coldness. Hel was said to have a unique appearance with a face divided into two halves, one side beautiful and the other grotesque. She was also known to be an adversary of Odin, and it was believed that she and her minions would fight alongside Loki and the giants during Ragnarok, the apocalyptic battle in Norse mythology. Jormungandr, son of Loki and Angerbotha. Jormungandr, also known as the Enormous Monster, was a colossal snake believed to dwell in the vast ocean encircling Midgard, the world of mortals in Norse mythology. According to legend, Jormungandr played a crucial role in holding the earth in place by wrapping its massive body around it, with its tail in its mouth. The Norse believed that when Jormungandr eventually released its grip, it would signify the end of the world. Jormungandr had a fierce rivalry with Thor, the god of thunder and son of Odin. They crossed paths three times in mythological encounters. In their first encounter, Jormungandr appeared disguised as a gigantic cat. Thor attempted to lift the massive creature but could only manage to raise one of its paws slightly off the ground. Despite not being able to lift Jormungandr completely, Thor's feat was still regarded as impressive. During their second meeting, Thor and Jormungandr encountered each other while Thor was fishing with the giant Hymir. Using oxen heads as bait, Thor inadvertently hooked Jormungandr, causing it to emerge partially from the water. Covered in blood and venom, Jormungandr terrified Hymir into cutting the fishing line allowing the snake to escape back into the depths. The third and final encounter between Jormungandr and Thor occurs during Ragnarok, the great final battle that ends the world. Jormungandr will finally leave the oceans and poison the sky. He and Thor will then battle one another fiercely until Jormungandr is finally struck dead by Mjolnir. Thor will then take nine steps forward before dropping dead himself, Jormungandr's venom having killed him. Fenrir, son of Loki, and Angerbotha. Fenrir, a massive wolf in Norse mythology, posed a great threat to the gods due to his immense strength. Despite their attempts to bind him with ropes and chains, Fenrir broke free every time. Eventually, the dwarves created a magical ribbon called Gleipnir. Made from extraordinary ingredients like the sound of a cat's footsteps and the breath of a fish. However, Fenrir demanded that one of the gods place their hand in his mouth as a sign of trust before he would allow himself to be bound. Tyre, the war god, bravely agreed and lost his hand when Fenrir couldn't break free from Gleipnir's hold. Fenrir was also believed to be a father to two wolves, Skal and Hati, who chased the sun and moon across the sky, causing day and night. During Ragnarok, the end of the world in Norse mythology, Fenrir would finally catch and devour his prey. In the epic battle of Ragnarok, Fenrir would face Odin, the chief god, and emerge victorious by swallowing him whole. However, Fenrir's triumph would be short-lived, as Odin's son Vithar would avenge his father by killing Fenrir. This duel would mark one of the most significant events in Norse mythology, showcasing the ultimate fate of Fenrir and his role in the end of the world. Sleipnir, son of Loki and Svatlifari. Sleipnir is a legendary horse known for its eight legs, making it the fastest and most remarkable horse in Norse mythology. Its parentage is unusual, as its mother is Loki, the trickster god, who transformed into a mare and mated with a stallion named Svathlifari. This resulted in the birth of Sleipnir. Sleipnir is most famously known for being the steed of Odin, the chief of the Norse gods. With Sleipnir's incredible speed and agility, Odin could traverse great distances, even journeying to the realm of Hel, the land of the dead. Narfi, son of Loki and Sigyn. Not much is known of Narfi, except that he was killed by his half-brother Vali, who had been transformed into a wolf. Later, during Loki's punishment by the gods for his many crimes and misdemeanors, especially causing the death of Baldur, 
Narfi's guts are used to bind his father, Vali, son of Loki and an unknown mother. Vali, the son of Loki and an unnamed mother, remains shrouded in mystery within Norse mythology, much like his brother Narfi. While details about his life and role are scarce, one significant event stands out. The gods transformed Vali into a wolf, and in this form, he tragically slew his half-brother Narfi. Despite the limited information available, Vali's story offers a glimpse into the complex relationships and divine intrigues that characterize Norse mythology. His transformation into a wolf and the fratricide that followed highlight the themes of betrayal, vengeance, and the unpredictable nature of the gods.